Hi pretty people. So today I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial. Pretty much doing my everyday makeup look. I do not wear foundation every day. So I'm going to show you guys what I use, the products and everything, while telling you some fun facts about myself. Let's get into it. First going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I grew up in California and I lived here my whole life until I went to Boise State for college. Next we're using the Essence Concealer. I put this on before I do my eyebrows. Some fun facts about me. I have seven sisters and one brother. There's a lot of us. I grew up Mormon, so that's probably part of the reason why. The Anastasia Brow Freeze. Show you guys how to apply it. But in this, everyone always asks me about my brows, but I just started doing them like this, so I'll give you guys my secrets. <laughs> so I grew up with a lot of siblings. I'm pretty much like the middle child out of all of my family because my youngest sister one younger and one older than me and we're all like the closest in age so it kind of makes me the middle child and you know what that means i'm the bully <laughs> i used to be really shy as a kid eventually i was like just i needed to get out of my comfort zone so i just started making friends but you guys i was like the shyest little girl ever <laughs> this one's fun i used to suck my thumb until i was like an age i won't even tell you guys because it's so embarrassing <laughs> actually ended up giving me bug teeth. Thank the Lord for braces because it's looking like Bugs Bunny. Okay, I want to show you the difference between the eyebrows. That one's done, this one's not. Look at how much it lifts it. You need the- wait. You need this. I used to want to be a singer when I was little. I feel like that's every kid's dream though, is to like be a singer and be on Disney Channel and do- Thank you for watching. Disney Channel. You know, that's just everyone's dream. I actually used to want to be a singer up until my college years. I was literally taking singing classes in college. So that just kind of shows you. I don't know what happened to that dream. It kind of just faded. And I don't have that dream anymore. <laughs> Started my own company. It is about to launch in a month. So happy. It's been such a long process of trying to get everything in order. And I'm just excited for you guys to see it and just show you guys everything. This is both eyebrows done. <laughs> they look pretty good. If you ask me. I have always been a very creative person. I used to paint all the time. I used to play the ukulele. Now I feel like I kind of use social media as my outlet to kind of be creative. <laughs> Next part, you guys. Either of these shades are like a perfect match for me. So what I do is I put this one on and then I put this one on. So I'm using L'Oreal Infallible. Started on social media around three years ago now. I actually started shuffling which a lot of people don't know that because I kind of changed my content a lot. But yeah, I was a shuffler. That's how I blew up on TikTok. I am obsessed with Italian food. <laughs> love Italian food so much. I would eat pasta every day if it wasn't so bad for me, to be honest. But we're trying to be healthy <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> now what I do is I just set this and I'm using Too Faced Makeup Insurance. We're going in with the other darker shade of the powder. This one's kind of funny. So since I grew up Mormon, my family had a rule. If you didn't kiss a boy until you were 16, you got $1,000. Let's just say I didn't get that money. <laughs> I just didn't get that money. I don't regret it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was like my first boyfriend and I was like 15. And I was just ready to have my first kiss. I was tired of being made fun of. So there's that story. This is a really cool trick I recently just started doing. Take like a darker concealer. I'm using the Born This Way Illuminating Smoothing Concealer in shade graham cracker and what i do is after i have powder on my face okay <laughs> i'm so dramatic i think we just go over the spots that didn't get fully covered take the concealer brush and you just dab around the parts where you put it so like this like what it literally disappears i don't recommend doing this with your finger i did it with my finger it just like kind of messes up the whole Base. Use a brush. For some reason, it just completely makes them disappear. I mean, you heard it here. Now I'm gonna set my face again. This is important with doing powder because if you don't set your face, the product's gonna pick up. It's not gonna be good. So just set your face. <laughs> now we wait for it to dry. We're gonna do a little bit of setting powder under the eyes and the T-zone areas. Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. I don't really know how to say it. I'm 24 years old. <laughs> That comes to a shock to most of you. You all think I look like I'm a spry teen. Everyone always thinks that I'm the youngest sister, but I'm actually a good four years older than Courtney, my youngest sister. Everyone's just like so shocked about it. <laughs> I guess that'll be a good thing for when I'm older though, because you know, I'll look young. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Not that old, right? Right? 
right? Bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced Powder Bronzer, first of all. I just love their packaging and it always smells like chocolate. I have to use it. This is really important. Do not swipe your face, okay? You have to dab it in like this. A dab. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I hate myself just as much as you do for me doing that right now. I apologize. And I apologize in advance for anything I do that's stupid or anything I do that's cringy because it's probably gonna happen at some point. This one's a fun one. I had a little bit of a stalker incident in college. He ended up trying to break into my house. Uh-huh. Yeah, I almost had to call the cops. I think that's a story for a different time. <laughs> it's just too long. I graduated college with a business degree. So big scholar over here, I guess. <laughs> and then a minor in entrepreneurship. Do I use any of that in my day-to-day -day life? No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I actually do use some of it. When it comes to dealing with emails and things like that, I actually do, I did take some skills with me. I think it was worth it. And I think college taught me a lot about work ethic and mindset. Even if things seem really difficult, like you can't do it, you can figure it out. So, I learned a lot. The bronzer is done. I'm going in with the Too Faced Cloud Crush blush. It's so cute. So I did gymnastics for 11 years. I think I did cheer for two and then dance for three i believe so that's kind of how i know how to dance and I, i'm i'm pretty athletic i would say hopefully still i don't know <laughs> can do like some parkour stuff a little bit you know like the office like we could do that <laughs> to mention when you're doing your bronzer what i like to do that really lifts your whole face lifts your eyes is you go up like this so you go in the eyelid so it kind of provides like an eyeshadow look and then you bring it up and then you blend it. So, good tip. Another fun fact, also, we're on the lips section. I use the Refi lip liner. It stays on your lips like freaking concrete, okay? This is a holy grail for lip liner. I will never use anything else unless there's something else that comes out that's better, but for the most part, Just ignore me, please. I'm kind of delusional today. So I use this one in Rosewood. I am a huge music lover. I'm gonna pause this while I do my lips because I know I'm gonna mess them up if I keep talking. And we're done. I'm a huge music lover. I love all genres besides like Screamo. I, for some reason, can't get myself to like that. Yes, I love country. I really have been into country lately, actually. For the actual lipstick, Too Faced Chocolate Chip, I have been eating this color up. I have not stopped wearing it since I put it on. And I normally use lighter colors, but I don't know what it is about this, but I have just been obsessed with it. People are nice, but it's only for the tips. The weather's fine, but it's nothing I would miss. I couldn't tell you what it is. I just freaking love it. Also, don't mind this. My nail fell off. I need to go get them done. It's been like on the bottom of my priority list. I don't know what I have. Vendetta against getting my nails done, but it's just like, it's sitting there and doing nothing, you know? You know the drill. Everybody knows the drill. Your lip oil in shade rose, what I believe. Take this stuff everywhere with me. I am constantly reapplying it. If you don't have it, it's worth it. Or I know there's some good dupes out there that are really good. So if you're not on the wave, get on the wave. Shut up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Makes them look so shiny and cute and like I'm a bad bitch. You set the face and that is my everyday makeup routine. If you're not a big foundation lover, I suggest getting on this. Or if you also get really shiny and oily when you wear foundation, I highly suggest trying this out and seeing if you like it because I feel like my skin feels like there's nothing on it first of all and then it stays matte all day. And if you need to, you reapply a little bit but like it's great. Anyways, I love you guys. Hopefully you had fun learning a little bit about me. Make sure you subscribe, join the fam. Love you guys. Bye.